Hi everyone. Welcome back to the MRKM SBA success series. Have you ever finished a question from your question bank, looked at the answer and thought, I knew the medicine, so why did I get it wrong? It's a frustrating feeling and it happens to almost everyone. The truth is, the MRKM SBA exam isn't just a test of your clinical knowledge. It's a test of your ability to understand exactly what the examiner is asking. Often, the answer is hidden in plain sight, right there in the question stem. In this video, I am going to teach you a simple, powerful three-step method to decode any SBA stem. Find the clues the examiners leave for you and dramatically increase your accuracy. This isn't about memorizing more facts. It's about thinking smarter. Let's get started. Step 1. Read the last sentence first. This might sound counterintuitive, but it is the single most important habit you can develop. Before you even look at the patient's age or their presenting complaint, scroll to the bottom and read the actual question. Why? Because it frames your entire approach. It tells you what you're looking for before you get bogged down in a long clinical story. Look at this. By reading what is the single most appropriate initial investigation, First, your brain is now primed. As you read the vignette from the top, you're not just passively absorbing information. You're actually hunting for the clues that point you towards an initial investigation, not a definite diagnosis or a final treatment plan. It's like having the key to the puzzle before you start. Step 2. The Keyword Hunt Once you know the question, you need to hunt for the keywords. Examiners use these precise words to guide you to the correct answer. Let's break down the most common ones. First, time-based keywords. These are crucial. Initial or immediate. This means, what is the very first thing you must do right now? It's often a life-saving intervention or a bedside test. Next, this implies the initial steps have already been taken the patient is likely stable and you need to decide on the next logical step in their workup or management. Definite you. This is the gold standard test or the final treatment. It's almost never the first thing you do in the ED. Mistaking initial for definite you is probably the most common SBA error. Don't let it be yours. Next, priority-based keywords most appropriate or most likely. This is a huge clue. It tells you that multiple answer options might be clinically plausible, but based on the specific details in the stem, like age, a key vital sign, or a single symptom, one option is better than all the others. Your job is to find the evidence that makes one choice the most appropriate. Finally, context-based keywords in the pre-hospital setting versus in the emergency department. Where you are changes everything. Pre-hospital answers might involve things like applying a pelvic binder, while the ED answers will involve CT scanners and blood tests. Step 3. Sift for gold and ignore the noise. Now you are ready to read the full clinical vignette. Your mission is to sift through the information and separate the clinical gold from the noise what we call red herrings. Here, what to look for. The vitals, heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, SATs, and temperature. An abnormal set of vitals often tells you the patient is sick and points you directly to the answer. Never ignore the vitals. Positive findings, the one-line descriptions that clinch a diagnosis. Things like a tender pulsatile mass or a pinpoint pupils. This is clinical gold. Red herrings. This is the noise. Examiners will often include details designed to distract you, like a minor irrelevant past medical history or a list of normal lab results. If a 55-year-old man comes in after a major car crash, the fact he had had a vasectomy 10 years ago is probably noise. Learn to identify it and move on. All right. Theory is great, but let's see this method in action. Example 1. 
A 24-year-old man is brought to the emergency department after being stabbed in the left side of the chest. He is agitated and in respiratory distress. His blood pressure is 88 over 60 millimeter of mercury. Heart rate is 130 beats per minute and respiratory rate is 35 breaths per minute. On examination, there is decreased air entry on the left side and the trachea is deviated to the right. The question is, what is the single most appropriate immediate step in management? Option A, obtain a chest x-ray. Option B, perform needle decompression. Option C, insert a definitive chest drain. Option D, give a fluid bolus. And option E, intubate and ventilate. Okay, let's decode this. Step 1. Read the question first. What is the single most appropriate immediate step? The keyword is immediate. This means we need to do something right now to save this patient's life. Step 2. Keyword hunt. Immediate is our main keyword. Step 3. Sift for gold. What's the clinical goal here? Hypotensive, tachycardic, tachypneic, decrease air entry, and crucially, tracheal deviation. This is a textbook tension pneumothorax. Now let's look at the options. Option A, chest x-ray is a great diagnostic tool, but it's not immediate. It wastes time. Option C, a chest drain is the definitive treatment, but the keyword is immediate. Option D, a fluid bolus is good, but won't fix the underlying mechanical problem. And option E, intubation, might make the tension pneumothorax worse. The only answer that is both life-saving and immediate is option B, perform needle decompression. See how the keyword led us straight to the answer. Example 2. An 82-year-old woman with a history of type 2 diabetes, hypertension and osteoarthritis is brought in from her nursing home. She has had a productive cough for three days and feels generally unwell. Her daughter mentions she has also been more forgetful than usual. Her temperature is 38.5 degrees Celsius. Heart rate is 115 beats per minute. Blood pressure is 95 over 55 millimeter of mercury. And her respiratory rate is 24 breaths per minute. The question is, what is the single most likely diagnosis? Option A, delirium. Option B, stroke. Option C, myocardial infarction. Option D, sepsis secondary to pneumonia. Option E, diabetic ketoacidosis. Let's decode. Step 1, the question, what is the single most likely diagnosis? The keyword most likely tells us to look for the unifying diagnosis that explains everything. Step 2, sift for gold and noise. The history is full of noise, diabetes, hypertension, osteoarthritis, forgetfulness, these are red headings designed to make you think about stroke or delirium. But what's the gold? The vitals. Fever, tachycardia, hypotension, and tachypnea. This is the classic SERS criteria, pointing strongly towards sepsis. The productive cough gives us the source. Step 3. Evaluate option. Option A. Delirium is a symptom here, not the root cause. Option B. Stroke or C, a myocardial infarction, don't typically present with a fever and productive cough. Option E, DKA is possible in a diabetic patient, but the presentation is a much better fit for infection. The vitals are screaming sepsis. The cough gives us the source. The most likely diagnosis is option D, sepsis secondary to pneumonia. So let's recap the three-step decoding method. Step 1. Read the final question first to prime your brain. Step 2. Hunt for keywords like initial, definitive, and most appropriate. Step 3. Sift for clinical gold in the vignette, focusing on the vitals and positive findings while ignoring the noise. Mastering this skill will transform how you approach the MR Chem SBA exam. You will answer questions faster, more accurately, and with much more confidence. Thank you for watching. The best way to get good at this to practice. Grab your question bank and for the next 20 questions, 
consciously apply this three-step method to every single one, you will see a difference. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next video in our MRKM SBA success series where we will be covering the art of elimination. Good luck with your revision and I will see you in the next video.